Shalom, I'm Apostle Star, coming back at you with this truth, giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, And I'm going to entitle this video, It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The key word is mystery, or mysteries. And what I did was, I went to... Let me bring it back. I went to... Colossians 1 verse 26 you know I'm going to do I'm going to start from the 19 verse and this is the Apostle Paul speaking now when you read about the Apostle Paul the Most High dealt with him Yahweh Bashem Shai dealt with him pretty much face to face he gave him um, a lot of visions and, and, and told and actually the Apostle Paul went up into the spiritual realm and went into heaven itself but during the time of his ministry the Mosai gave him direct a lot of revelation or revelations he, re he revealed, in other words, he revealed a lot of things to him, a lot of spiritual things. Because even Peter, had, uh, the apostle Peter had to talk highly of him. You know, that how he um, wrote letters that were hard to be understood. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and read this Colossians 1 verse 19 for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell and having made peace through the blood of his of his cross now the peace that the Lord that our Lord made on the cross was he became a sacrificial um, lamb that's why he's known as the lamb as well as the lion he became a sacrificial lamb and therefore that's why we don't have to sacrifice animals anymore because he became the ultimate sacrifice and that's you can read about that where well, you would want to read uh, the Hebrews the book of Hebrews from the first the first uh, chapter to the last chapter in um, you can actually go to Hebrews the 10th chapter and it tells you there and I hadn't read it I hadn't read it in a while but it tells you about how Paul broke down the fact that we didn't have to sacrifice because also oh also in um, Hebrews the 9th chapter I believe that's the 26 27 verse it is appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment when you read that with understanding it's talking about our Lord dying once. But that's a whole another lesson. Anyway, it says, For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross in the book of Acts. 5 29 to 31 it tells you it mentioned Israel that 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 the Lord matter of fact let me go to it let me not speak on it let me just go to it Acts 5 verse 29 Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought, ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The Most, the Most High of our fathers raised up Yahweh whom he slew and hung on a tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel uh, and forgiveness of sin. Sins. To who? To Israel.
So let's go back to Colossians 1 verse 20. And having made peace through the blood of, of the cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say uh, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. When, when we're in this body, we're, we are a thing on, um, in earth or on earth. And when we pass, we are a thing in heaven. So the ones of us that died, like for example recently, Chadrick um, Bozeman had passed, but he's suffering with colon cancer for four years. And they showed the last, re after the fact, they showed videos of him being very skinny. And when you suffer from uh, colon cancer, because I had a friend that suffered from it, and he got, you know, he used to be like 200 pounds, 210 pounds, and he went down to about 140 pounds, 145 pounds. And at the uh, last stage, where well, you look like a, a skeleton with skin on it. You know, it's like a slow uh, death. Well, anyway, he's in the spirit realm. <coughs> the first thing he saw was, uh, you know, he saw all these things that couldn't be explained. But Paul mentioned it, mentioned, spoke about in uh, uh, Second uh, Corinthians, the twelfth chapter. Because Paul was stoned to death and, his, and he actually died. And his spirit went up into the spiritual realm. But then the Most High put the spirit back in his body. Because he had work to do. So, Bozeman went before the, fall, the throne of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And for lack of a better way of saying it he's an angel now we're nothing but angels and bodies it speaks about actually I gotta open up another tab bear me for a minute There's one in Jude. I want the one in uh, actually Jude 1 verse 6. And um, there's another precept in uh, 2 Peter 2 verse 4. It says, For if the Most High spared not the angels, we are those angels. We are the angels appointed to be put in these bodies, which the Most High calls chains. And the only way you can escape these bodies is through death. And everyone naturally is afraid to die. But once someone actually dies, transitions, they go to the spiritual realm and they don't want to come back. No pain if you had a back pain, if you, you know, if you if you were sick, that sickness goes away because your sickness comes through the body. Anyway, said for if the most I spare not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell. Now you got this Christian concept or doctrine, whatever whatever you want to call it, of hell. And we did videos on hell. Hell is nothing but the grave but hell is also a condition the Lord condemned uh, Capernaum a city in Israel he said though you be exalted unto heaven you shall be cast down into hell so can the Most High take a whole city with people and just put it in hell no it's talking about a, when he said be cast down into hell you're going you're gonna to be ruined so it said, uh, so hell 
when you look that word up, it means a grave. But it also means a condition. Because we are in hell. The so-called white man's heaven is the so-called black man's hell. It's a condition. But these Christians don't understand that. Anyway, it says, For if the Most High spared not the angels, which are us, that sinned, which we have sinned in these bodies, you cannot sin when you're in, in, in an angelic body. You're perfect. So what the Most High is going to do when He changes us, He's going to make us perfect in these bodies. But cast them down to hell, which is a condition, and deliver them into chains of darkness. And the chains of darkness is what? The chains are, are these bodies that we're in. And the darkness is the fact that we can't see the truth. But now the Most High open up some of our eyes to see the truth. You got these guys um, in the comedic community, Islam, the Moors, um, Christianity, the Baha'i faith. You got Jake in all these religions. And anytime you see a Jake that says he's a Christian or a Moor or a Islamic or a comedic, you know, individual, he's completely blind. The Most High closes his eyes. Because these individuals do not have answers. If you deal with any of them, you ask them, what, what book do you deal with? You know, they might say, with well, the Circle 7, uh, whatever it is, Circle 7 Quran or whatever, or the Quran or this book or that book. Even the scriptures, because they don't understand the scriptures. And you ask them, um, who is the white man in, in the scriptures? They won't know. Now you got comedic people mentioning Esau because they've been listening to us. They'll say the white man is, is uh, Japhet and they're Caucasians and they're uh, Edomites. Why would they say Edomites? Because they've been listening to us. This Hebrew Israelite influence influence is um, hitting all of these particular uh, faiths. Because you got the you got the Moors saying that they're um, Moabites. Well, guess what? If you a Moabite, you, your your future is slavery because you're going into slavery under the Israelites, or you're going to be a slave in our kingdom, and you're also one of the in enemies of Israel. So any any individual that says he's a Moor, he's he's asleep. Anyway, it says, For if the Most High spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness, which are these bodies, the Most High put, in, put, us in, put us in these bodies, and took away in our minds the fact that we're the Israelites. So the ones that have woken up to, to come to the realization that the Israelites, guess what? The Most High opened up your eyes. But you're going to have Israelites, you know, individuals like Zion Lex. He knows he's an Israelite, but he doesn't have the full truth. You know, uh, Divine Prospect knows he's an Israelite, but he doesn't have the full proof, uh, truth. Why? Because they don't know the prophecies. They're not, they're not necessarily, in, oh, they may say it, that America is Babylon the Great. I don't think they'll say it. You got you to gotta ask them. Or um, who the Edomites are. Because they don't, according, well, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even believe that they believe that a Messiah came, came already. Anyway, it says, uh, and delivered them into chains of darkness. So you're going to have Israelites, and know that they're Israelites, but are still in chains of darkness. Because they don't know the whole mystery. See, we here at Israel, we know, we understand, we understand this book backwards and forwards, upside down, inside out. And this is why, if you notice, 
one of the last, not the very last show, but maybe the next to the last show, Vocab Malone had a guest on and they were going into the book of Revelation because um, Vocab is trying to get these mysteries and he's never going to get it. The way you'll get these mysteries, if you submit and say, I'm going to follow the Hebrew Israelites, even though you're Edomite and hope and pray and fast that you could be, that you may in fact be an Israelite. But whatever path you're going is the wrong path. You're never you're never gonna get it. I don't give a damn how many so-called experts you get. And that guy didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Anyway, it says uh and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. So we will all we all went through a judgment. What is a judgment? Us going into captivity us going into slave ships, us being sold on auction and blocks, and then us dying, going back into the spiritual realm and coming back. You know, we're not in hardcore slavery where we're sold on auction blocks, but guess what? We're still slaves. Anyway, I'm going to go to uh, Jude 1 verse 6. And the angels, which are us, which kept not their first estate, and by the way, you Edomites are angels too. When you go up back in the spiritual realm, you 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 have an angelic body on the left hand side. You're on the side of Satan, because Satan is still in heaven, and them demons are still in heaven on the left hand side. But uh, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains. An everlasting means forever. <clears throat> and it also mean, means a very long time. So we've been on this earth for a long time. Dying, going back in the spiritual realm, coming back in a new form of a new body, which is reincarnation. That's another thing that a vocab alone doesn't understand, reincarnation. And he tries to make heads and tails of it. He tries to understand it. You're not going to understand it, man. You're not meant to understand it. On the darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. So when are we going to be changed? When the judgment comes. So let me come back to... Uh, Colossians 1 verse 21 It says in you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works yet now have he re reconciled in the body of his flesh to death and I just spoke about that to pre present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. And when that's gonna when is that gonna happen? When the most high changes, he's gonna make us perfect. Uh Jeremiah 31 and 31, Hebrews 8, verse 6 on down. Most high gonna put the laws in our inward part and write it in our hearts and write it in our minds and program us. And what are the laws? The laws are the laws. Of uh, that were given that was given to Moses. <clears throat> Except for animal sacrifice, because our Lord became the ultimate sacrifice. Now, if in the kingdom, if if the Mosai institutes a sacrifice for uh, traditional reasons, you know that's not. Any any scripture in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have to sacrifice animals, but we will be killing animals. In other words, when the Passover comes, when a new high holy day comes, it's because because there's gonna be a new high holy day, likened unto the Passover, and that's gonna celebrate the destruction of Babylon the Great in this current demonic system. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, now that's 
that right there, that's a whole, uh, um, that's a whole other topic. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled. What does that mean? The faith is that you know that you're an Israelite, that Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man, that the Edomites, that the so-called white white people are Edomites, that you're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites, you're going to have Edomites that look like Israelites. You're going to have Israelites that look like Moabites. You know that Babylon the Great is America, so forth and so on. I can go on and on. When you come into this truth, you have your your mind has it actually changed, man. You got guys that come into this truth. I remember it, when we got on YouTube, and you had guys come into this truth, and they they didn't grow a beard. They would get a five o'clock shadow because they're still halfway in the world. But then you got guys that just let their hair grow, man. And then you might say, "Well, this is this job." Uh, won't let me grow my well you know what you do you leave that job I didn't have many wanted many job interviews where they said on the application this is going back years ago like 30 plus years ago where they said you got to shave the beard and I, would, I wouldn't come back I'll just keep looking until I find a job that um I can uh, grow a beard you know I had this one I had two jobs with management jobs of departments where um, I had a full bid, they didn't. They didn't had no problem. They had no problem with it. But there's certain jobs where you gotta, like working for UPS, because I worked there. I worked for UPS before I came to the truth, and then I tried to go back to UPS years later, and they said, "Oh, you gotta shave the bed." I said, "Oh, I'm out." So. That's part of the law is growing your beard and not being ashamed. And a lot of a lot of y'all keep a uh, twelve o'clock, uh, what do you call it, a five o'clock shadow, twelve o'clock, twelve five o'clock shadow, because of the the galleys. But now you got young men, and new the new thing is growing a full beard. That's the influence of. Israelism, as vocab calls it. It says, if ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, because you had a lot of individuals that came into this thing and they fell off. And a, a thousands of them fell off at the, during the year 2000, which the year 2000 is a beautiful year because that was a stumbling block. Because everybody had it in mind that we're gonna be out of here before by the year 2000, and it didn't come. If you go to Luke uh, 17, verse 20, read a couple of verses down. I'm not gonna to go to it, but it says, "Ye shall desire one of the days of the, of the Lord, and it shall not come." So one of the days of the Lord that we desired to come is uh, uh, to the year 2000. So when when that didn't come, and then a year before that, King Marsha had passed that should, and then a couple of years before that King Marshall had passed in 1990, 1999 um, and I was there me and me me myself and the apostles and um, Johanna uh, uh, Johanna Bar you know we were always at the, at the hospital man and we was right at his deathbed and then one day I got the news that he had passed you know, now when that happened, you had a lot of. Uh, oh, you had Nate when Nate was Nate was uh, when the split came. There was a split between Mo and Nate, and Nate actually came down to the camp on 34th Street and asked me how how's Mo doing. And I looked at him. I said, "Why don't you go 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 to the hospital and see how he's doing?" So he was full of shit, man. You know that's why the Mo side blinded blinded him. To the, to the mark of the beast I'm a little all over the place But that's You know if you don't like it Watch the next video Alright 
It's because a lot of things are coming to my mind that I have to speak on. So it says, 23rd verse, Colossians 1 verse 23, if ye continue in the faith, oh and by the way, last night I was trying to make a video and I had a mental block, I couldn't think of anything, I mean I could have went into anything, but I, you know when you make a video you want to edify, truly edify people. So I said, well, the spirit's not there. Hopefully when I get up, the spirit will hit me. So I got up, you know, and I, and I was just checking out a lot of different things. I put in uh, Christianity dying in, dying in America. And there's a lot of, uh, that's a whole other topic. And Christianity is definitely dying in America. You know, there, you have a lot of, a lot of Americans that no longer want to be they're like traditional Christians where they like on Easter they'll go to church or a funeral funeral they'll go to church or you know a, a, a wedding they'll go to church but they don't they don't go to church on a regular you know people are just doing them they doing they doing what they want to do so you lose you you Christ, Christians that Christian community you're losing big numbers and um this goes to vocab Malone you know you're 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 losing miserably, man. And I would say ninety nine percent, ninety eight percent of the Israelites are all were all at one time Christians, and more and more Christians are jumping off that Christian boat and becoming Israelites. And be, and by the way, vocab you even made us stronger because the fact that you speak negative about us makes people. Look into what we're saying, and when you really go into the scriptures, and your Most High opens up your eyes, you're gonna say, "No, nah, I'm not with this Christian nonsense anymore." The, uh, Christianity is so desperate, and I was reading some of the stories of Christianity dying in America. That you have this one church, I believe in Georgia, that um they got kicked off a major church uh, community. Because they allow gays in there, but then they said, "Well, look, we're losing numbers, so we so we're allowing anybody to come up in there, man." I think the United Methodist Church. If you go to any past any United Methodist Church, you see a rainbow flag, which means they are open to gays. You can be a gay pastor, you can be a gay member. Well, that's clearly against the scriptures. And if you notice, vocab is not going against gay churches. Matter of fact, he has a member that that loves to dress up like a woman, and I and I rebuked him for that, and I told him you need to repent from doing that shit. That's David Woods, and and David Woods didn't have nothing to say. I said you need to repent from doing that shit, man. And I can say that to it. The Edomite, because guess what? When the kingdom comes, the Edomites are going to be under the law, statutes, and commandments. If we catch an Edomite dre secretly dressing up in a, in a dress, and he's a man, he's going to get molly whopped. <laughs> I mean, he's going to get beat, beat down, and and put to death. That's not. We're not going to tolerate homosexuality in the kingdom of heaven. That's another uh, subject. Anyway, it says, if ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, you have people that come into this faith, and they come into the work, they go out to the camps, and uh, but then they, they, it's not, it's it, you know, it's not in them no more. It's like a chore. They don't look forward. I look forward to going out on Saturdays. If I'm running late, I get mad. I'm like, look, man, put. Put the pedal to the metal. Let's get down there. You know. You got to be passionate about. It. If you if you do not have the passion, you are going to die in the spirit. So and there's guys, and I noticed that there's guys that been in this thing for a number of years, and I see it in their eyes. They don't want to do this no more. It's not sexy anymore. You know that fire ain't in them no more. So either they're going to leave or they're going to get kicked out. And there will be changes at the New York GMS camp. 
Because there's guys that just don't want to do this no more. They don't want to do it. So we're going to help them leave. Uh, if, if, if ye continue in the faith, ground in the settle, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, and be not moved away. A lot of a lot of you individuals were moved away. Especially when the year when Masha passed, King Masha passed, and when the year 2000 came, you guys just disappeared. Because we had thousands of members at, at the old one West School. The only ones that are left is uh, myself, uh, Apostle Gabar, Apostle uh, Rakar, Apostle Ryan Lob, the, the other elders and bishops that came in. And you got uh, Yohanna, or General Yohanna as they call him, Nate. Um, you got, uh, what's this, what's this, uh, I'm just trying to think of names. Well, you got these guys that are from different, um, from different uh, camps, like you got, uh, the HOI, I'm just going to name the camps. Um, you got the uh, HODC, you got the uh, LOI, uh, you got, uh, man, there's so many of them. But those guys are the uh, go back to One West. And they stayed, you know, they stayed teaching that they, that they were Israel, that, 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 the, that, when you go out on the highways and, and the byways, you're teaching people that they're Israelites. And that's why it's important to have that sign. It's important to have that sign. And you got this guy from Fol the Fopi. They came into this thing under the former, some of the former One Westers. And they broke out. They didn't do it no more. And then when they came back a year or two years later, they came back with a whole completely different doctrine. So the Most High is not dealing with them. So they're desperately trying to get back in. They can't get back in. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. That's why I'm in this thing. To, you know. I'm going to continue this thing. But the reason why I'm going to continue. Because the spirit is on me. The ones of you that do not continue, that means the most I took the spirit from you, ultimately. There's p people that, die, uh, that, that, that leave or get kicked out, and they throw Israel out. They go back to being a Christian. You know, and they'll, and they'll go, and a lot of these demons will run right to, 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 uh, to this guy, Vocab Malone, will run right to the devil, which ye have heard, and which... And which was preached to every creature. And that's happening right now. We're reaching more people. The modern day apostles and disciples or whatever you want to call us prophets. We we are reaching more people than Yahweh Shai ever did. But we're doing we're we're Yahweh Shai is speaking through us. we 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 are reaching more people. Than the apostles ever did in the book of Acts, all of all of, all the works in Acts, and this is the the Acts of the apostles all over again. And we're reaching more people by what? By way of what? By way of the internet. And I put a up re-upload of a video that some brother put up that's living in Japan. That man, that man speak fluent Japanese. I mean, literally all over the world, man. You got Israelites in Russia. You got people in Russia, China. Um, literally all of you name the place. If they got internet over there, they don't watch a Hebrew Israelite video. Whether it be GMS, IUIC, ISUPK, LOI, uh, HOD, whatever, whatever. Uh, uh, HOI, whatever, whatever uh, group that's out there that came from One West, and I'm gonna say this again: the truth came out of One West. That's why they demonize One West. That's why Vocab, Voc, uh, Vocab focuses on the one, the former One Westers, not these other Israelite groups, because he knows that they're weak. They don't have the full truth. It said in which was preached. 
to every creature which is under heaven and that pretty much happened every every individual on the earth that has internet in one in one way or another have have uh, encountered the Israelites where if I Paul have made a minister it says uh, 24 verse who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Yahweh Shai in my flesh for the body's sake which is the church which is the church the church is what the, the, the believers that are Israelites that individual that was on a vocab show he was going into a Revelation 11 chapter and he kept talking about the church. Yeah, this is talking about the church. The, the two witnesses is talking about the church. Or the body. Well, that church are Israelites. It says, uh, aware, Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of, Mo, of the Most High, which is given to me. Dispensation is... Uh, you have a thing called dispenser, right? And it and it gives you two units or five units or ten units, and some, another person that gets one unit. So the apostle Paul received more units of information than any of the uh, of the other apostles. It says, uh, "Which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High." So that's why we're here to fulfill the word of the Most High. To do his will my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work is that even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints so it was made manifest during 2,000 years ago and it's and it was and it died for for a particular time when we, when we went into slavery the uh, tribes split up so now it's made min, um, manifested again so now when you go to the word this is getting a little long I mean I have a lot more to say but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wind it down the word mystery is a Greek, Greek word musterion which means hidden thing, secret, mystery. That's why you can't get it, vocab. You're going to try to get those experts on prophecy, and they don't know. This guy, he didn't know what the hell was, was going on. The individual that, that was on uh, vocab show. It's a general mystery, religious secrets, confident only to the uh, initiate, initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. Wow. Is it general, generally, uh, generally mysteries, religious secrets, or spiritual secrets? I, I would say, uh, con, uh, con, conf, confided only to the initiated, only to the initiated, the ones that the Most High chose to receive this truth. They're the ones that's going to get these mysteries these prophecies what does it say in Amos 3 and 7 the Lord will do nothing except he but he reveal his secrets unto his servants the prophets so another word for secrets is mysteries and not to ordinary mortals uh, uh, vocab you're, you are a ordinary mortal alright you can't get this and the most high has it in a way where you you will refuse to hear what we have to say. So you'll get some expert. You really want to get those mysteries. You really want to understand those uh, uh, prophetic uh, scriptures. You're never going to get it. As as, Vo, as uh, Vogue, Vogue said in the song, you're never going to get it, never going to get it. You're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. And then behind that the, the, that, that 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 uh those lines one of the girls say woo 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 you never gonna get it you are never gonna get it 
whether you're e Edomite or Israelite. Let's say you're Israelite. Well, you're you're part of the two thirds, and you're just gonna have to die and come back. And that's the that's the best hope for you. That you just one of the two thirds, because you can forget about being one of the one third. You ain't one of the one third. And if you're an Edomite, oh boy, you don't want to be an Edomite, man. I wouldn't want to be an Edomite for all the tea in China. Anyway, it says a hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the, uh, not obvious to the understanding. A hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. A hidden purpose or counsel, secret will of man, of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are us, and you are the wicked, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly or the, or, or the Most Highly. Let me read that again. Of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly or the Most Highly. So you are an uh, vocab. You are ungodly and wicked man. And rabbin and rabbinical writings, it denotes the mis um, uh, mystic or hidden sense of an Old Testament saying, of an image or form seen in a vision, of a dream. Like my, my wife been having dreams about people getting lined up and getting microchipped. Um, she oh she had a dream. She actually dream, dreamt of a uh, uh, was that uh, Zechariah fourteen and twelve. She says she saw fire coming from the skies and people's skin skin melting off of their bodies and people running and and fire catching them. And then she saw a vision of men raping women openly in front of their children. And that's in Zechariah 14 and 1. So she doesn't understand the scriptures, but she gets those visions. And those visions, the most I give those visions to her to give to me, which just confirms that the most High is coming. So now when you go to that word mis uh, mysteries, and I'm not going to read all these scriptures. I might read some of them. Anyway, let me go to uh, Matthew 13, 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So if a person can't see it, the most high didn't open up open their minds pursuant to Isaiah uh, the, the what is it the sixth chapter around about the ninth verse or so and there's an angel that keeps you blind why do you think um this individual uh polite keeps coming around he he went to this one Iscarite Somewhere in the West, and, and basically was questioning the whole thing about the, um, the whole Hebrew Israelite thing. Then, a, about a week after, maybe a couple of days after, he had a little get together with uh, uh, Captain Tazariak because he's trying to get in. But if he's not of the elect, he's not going to get in, and ultimately he's going to he's going to be destroyed. So, if the Most High have mercy on him. And he's one of the elect, the Most High will open up his eyes. And everything that he learned in the past, he's going to throw that in the garbage. The proverbial garbage. Anyway, it says, uh, in uh, Mark uh, uh, 4, verse 11, And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without all these things are done in parables because after the Lord spoke a parable 
it went over the people's head and then he would have to explain it to the disciples now when you go back to Matthew 13 verse 11 you go a couple of verses above that and a couple of verses below the disciples said why do you speak in parables and then he and then he, he gives them the answer because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but if but it's not given to every everyone another one Luke 8 verse 10 and he said unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the most high but uh, to others in parables that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand Romans 11 verse 25 for I would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery least ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become come in and those Gentiles are Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites so at, at one time we were all Gentiles you can say even if you were born in a so-called black Jewish home you were a Gentile because the ones that the Jakes that studied uh, being the, the Torah or whatever they didn't they were following the so-called Jews another one Romans 16 verse 25 now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the and the preaching of Yahweh Shai Hamashak according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began that's a good one that should be read on on the regular first Corinthians 2 verse 7 but we but we speak the wisdom of the mo we speak the wisdom of the most on the mystery even the hidden wisdom which and then we we're, we're speaking it uh what you receive in in, in dark uh preach you on the on the on the rooftops in other words whatever we have we're telling you what it means so we're giving you the mysteries but you can't receive it because the most high blocked your spiritual ears it said even the hidden wisdom which the most high ordained before the world uh un, unto our glory first corinthians 4 verse 1 let a man so account of us as of the mysteries of the of, of our lord and stewards of the mysteries of the most high first corinthians 13 verse 2 but though i have the gift of prophecy and understanding and mis, uh, mysteries um and all knowledge and though i have all faith so that i could remove mountains and have not charity i am nothing so with all that knowing you have to have charity and we get when we speak and you always get like a homeless person come by asking for a dollar or a quarter or whatever and, and they wind up walking down the street with maybe five or six seven maybe even ten dollars you know because that's part of that charity you know on a, on a small level first corinthians 14 verse 13 for, and there's a lot of heavy information in uh, 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. So, no, this is another thing that the churches go into. They'll say that, they, that the Spirit jumps on somebody in the church and they speak. And they'll, the rest of the church just sit there and, and experience it. Well, speaking in tongues means speaking in different languages. Because as you read down in 1 Corinthians 14 chapter, it said if someone speaks in tongues, there has to be an interpreter. So where have you ever gone to a church and somebody's speaking in tongues and then somebody's interpreting it? So that, that, that further proves that the 
Christian church does not understand these scriptures. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2, For he that uh, speaketh in an unknown tongue, another language, speaketh not unto men, but unto the Most High. Like when I say my prayers, I say my prayers for the most part in Hebrew. I'll, I'll chant in Hebrew. For for no man understandeth him, albeit in the spirit he speaketh my mysteries. Like we, you have seen videos where we have put curses on Edomites and Esau saying, what the hell language are you talking about? Well, we're speaking mysteries, man. <laughs> this is what we're sending up to the Most High. This ain't for you. Ephesians 1 verse 9. Having made known unto us the mystery, the us is who? The elect of his will according to the good pleasure which he hath uh, pr uh, proposed in himself. Ephesians 3 verse 3. How that by revelation, and revelation means to peel back the, the veil, Back, re meaning back and, and velation means veil back veil or pull back the veil so you can see clearly he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few, in few words whereby four verse whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh Shai Uh, Colossians 1 verse 27 to whom the Most High uh, would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles those Gentiles are Israelites which is which is Yahweh Shai in you the hope of glory Uh, let me read this Colossians let me read a couple more Colossians uh, 4 verse 3 with withhold praying also for us that the Most High would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mysteries of Yahweh Shai for which I am also in uh, bonds so we're prisoners of uh, Yahweh Shai Anyway, Revelation 1 verse 20, the mystery of the seven stars which thou saw in my in my right hand, and the seven candlesticks, golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. You have uh, seven churches in Asia Minor, which they're back here. All those people are back here because everything is reincarnated, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven are the seven churches. Revelation ten verse seven. But in the days but in the days of the voice of the seven angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of the Most High should be uh, finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. So the Most High, King Solomon said in the wisdom of Solomon the most I have showed them the um, beginning of time, the ending of time, and the middle in the middle of time. Anyway, it says uh, so I just read that. Let me go, let me go to our uh, last couple of scriptures, Revelation 7, 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. So Babylon the Great is a mystery. 
they'll read about Babylon the Great and not know what it's talking about. Like vocab said, oh, it's a whole planet Earth. Babylon the Great is a whole planet Earth. Or oh, it's a whole system. Well, where's the headquarters of that system? It said mystery, so people don't know what or who is Babylon the Great. It says the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And that's America. That's clearly America. But it's a mystery to, to most, even the Christians. The Christians are not going to come out and just say, Bab Miss Babylon is uh, America. The, the Babylon the Great or that great city is America. They're not going to say it, but a handful of Edomite pastors have come out and said, yep, I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. Uh, um, America has to be Babylon the Great. The great merchant city. Which is no longer merchant city because now they, they don't ship things out. They don't export, they import. At one time they were credit uh, based nation now they're a debt based nation anyway last uh, precept Revelation 17 verse 7 and the angel said unto me wherefore did if thou marvel I will I marvel I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her which have the seven heads and ten horns and that's easy that's talking about NATO in the in the EU. That's all it's talking about. It's talking about the European, which we call Edomites, which are Edomites, power structure, the elite among these Edomites. So John, even though John, let me read that again. And the angel said unto me, oh, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will show thee the mystery of the woman. And the beast that carrieth her. So you have the U the U.S., which is being carried by the beast. These other major European nations. And as you read down in the same chapter, it said that these beasts are going to shoot fire. Is going to eat her flesh with fire. Shoot missiles on her. Now we I can't tell you what's going to happen, but something's going to happen. Whether whether uh, Trump becomes a president again or Biden or whoever something is going to happen that's going to make and this is after the uh, the whole world is my, the, the majority of the world is microchipped something some deal is going to fall through and they're not going to like the deal that was given to them and they're going to point their fingers to the US and then it's going to be a point where they're all going to shoot missiles on um, all these European allies of America that possess ICBM missiles, they're going to shoot missiles on this place. That's why it's going to be totally destroyed because Russia is going to shoot missiles. Uh, China would have to be a, uh, shoot missiles on it. Uh, Pakistan, these Arab nations that possess missiles, they're going to shoot missiles. So this place is going to be bombarded with missiles. That's that great fire. That's why I said it speaks about being cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is referring to uh, America. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. I'm going to the next one. Shalom.